So today we're doing a day trip. We're going to Folly Billy, Meknes and Mule Idris. So it should be a really good day. Um, basically lots of different ancient sites and like key um, places in like the Muslim religion and imperial cities. But it should be a really good day. It's about an hour outside of Fez. So it's not too far away. But it should be really fun. We're just waiting outside a hostel to get picked up. Just had a quick little stop at this amazing viewpoint with this lake. Apparently the lake comes like all the way up to basically where we are stood. But because it's a dry season, apparently for the last seven years there's been a lot less water so it's dried out quite a bit. arrived in Volubili. Um, it's a 2,000 year old ancient Roman like city and we didn't really know that the Roman civilization like came all the way to Morocco so it's quite interesting to see the remains. They've like preserved it quite well so you can still see like the main structures of the whole historical city. So we're just walking around the ancient site that's over 2,000 years old you can still see where all the houses and buildings were. They were quite well maintained. So luckily you can still see how they used to live back in over 2000 years ago. And it's on top of a hill, so it was a good vantage point for the Romans to defend and attack. But it's quite impressive how well it's kept. quite impressive to see like the sheer size of these buildings and architecture 2000 years ago they didn't have modern building technology or equipment like it's all done by hand so it's like really impressive kind of thing can you just like remove one brick and the whole thing would fall down sad you can't explore the whole thing because we've only got an hour here but the whole site is massive and like, you can just imagine what it'd be like 2000 years ago when it was actually functioning as a working town or empire I wouldn't mind living here, these are pretty cool. Yeah, quite nice to yeah. use. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. One other thing is, there's no like normal path, so you kind of have to crawl over the walls. I mean, there are. Like we're doing. Uh, there are, but... We can't really. Just some... 2,000 year old buildings just climbing on top of them and probably breaking. Yeah, probably shouldn't be doing it. No, but we're not getting told off, so... So this is how big it was, like you can see everything, like that's the Roman forum that we are at, and then like that's the entrance that like, covers this whole area. It's 42 hectares big. So we've just driven for five minutes from Bolly Villas to Mule Idris, which was the original capital city of Morocco, and it's where Islam was introduced to the country in the seventh century. So it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, it's like one of the holiest cities in the whole of Morocco, which you come in come out to like this little viewpoint and it's really nice. All the different colourful buildings, um, we just drove through it to get to this viewpoint and it's really pretty to see. Yeah, it's like on the side of the mountain. So the, the green and the red is the symbol of the, the farthest colours. You know? The cemetery inside? Yeah. And there is Quranic school, Arabic school. 
and also the mosque. arrived in Meknes. It was founded in the 11th century by the Almoravids as a military Yeah, so we've just arrived, we've just had a nice lunch um, at, I can't remember the name of the place, but it's like quite a posh place. Uh, we've got a vegetarian tea to share, because the prices were quite expensive. Was, especially on Moroccan standards. Yeah. About three times price you'd expect to pay elsewhere. 150 dirham, which for like a normal restaurant, like for something that standard, it's a good price, yeah. but just we're used to paying like 50 dirham. Yeah. But we, it was nice. Yeah, so you've been given an hour to like wander around Meknes and like see the different sites. They like their arches here. Yeah, they're so beautiful. Yeah, I think there's the, the, the mausoleum over there, which you might check out. Oh. And I've been carried, I've been dragged And I've been lucky, torn and sad I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home I am done I will stay to find Minknez is also one of the four imperial cities in Morocco So it was like quite a big military base in Morocco. The other thing to note is that it's almost always under restoration so yep. a lot of the gates will be covered with scaffolding and um, you will still get to see some stuff like there's a beautiful gate just here that we got to see um, but a lot of the other ones are covered in scaffolding so yeah. just be aware of that. It's unlike most of the rest of Morocco they want to like preserve it and keep it like nice and clean with most of it they just let Everything happened. Yeah. Taking all my roads to you. 